Alright, so charge dash. Can you skill? Bit buggy. Fucked up damage effectiveness on release. Still a bit fucked up now. So people worked out if you slow yourself to 99%, I'm at minus 65% right now, charge dash will nuke the screen, something like this. The problem is, um, to make it happen previously, you had to pop a quicksilver flask, which um, snapshots your speed at the start, and then at the end, when you slow down again, it then does that because it calculates based on your um, speed at the end of the effect for the damage while it calculates at the start of the effect for the speed of the projectile spirit phantom. So rather than relying on uh, quicksilvers, uh, blood magic, lion eyes, paws, Laura's lantern, and a five linked covenant I didn't really end up using. So what I've done is reserve 36% of my life, keep in mind the low life threshold is 35%. When I go on low life, I lose 40% move speed from Lion Eyes Paws, and gain 6% from Laurie's Lantern, setting me to 99%, negative 99% move speed. Well, at the start, it's still the 65%. So, because of this, it means that you nuke the screen attack so many times that it causes crashes if you attack a um, cannot die pack of mobs sometimes proximity shield ones. Um, yeah, it. I've managed like one shot every Merciless Cesaro phase on Charge Dash, AoE, and Chaos and Blood Magic. So on like one and a half damage links. Um, I originally had this 5 hour covenant set up just for throwing damage at it to make it scale, but you don't need that much fucking damage. Uh, auras, Grace, Discipline, and Arctic Armor off mana, Temple Chains and Enfeeble off um, health, uh, just running Broken Crown of Chaos Res, a bunch of energy shield and high resist gear to compensate for the fact I'm using unique jewelry. Um, because I'm low life, I need to avoid stun, need to avoid freezing. Could potentially do something with Soul of the Brine King and Lion Eyes Paws, which cannot be stunned on low life, but that might be a bit inconsistent. Uh, my weapon I bought for like 2 Chaos, 3 Chaos, whatever it was. Um, the flat life on it means that while you normally nuke your life and then you're slowed to minus 99% and you need to drink a pot to pop back up, if you hit anything with a flat life gain on its claw, um, it will just pop your life back up to 36% uh, and let you walk around and actually keep attacking things every time. So yeah, that's the crux of the build. Um, Flask, just general utility, I don't have enough cash to get anything fancy, like a Sin's Rebirth or whatever. Don't even have a Crystal Belt, I'm just level 73. Uh, passive Tree, Energy Shield, Weight of Sin, just Jewel Sockets, Jewel Sockets, Jewel Sockets. Um, need to get 14% reduced mana reserved exactly to make the previously 70% from 2 Blasphemy Curses down to 64% and it lets you run 3 or oh, 120% or whatever that is on mana, 114% uh, so Grace, Arctic Armor and Discipline again or oh, you miss that 100% whatever, it's not important Rest of the technique so your shit actually hits uh, resist while holding a shield because originally my gear was pretty shit I might unspec that, I don't know being alley weakness cap is kind of nice. More energy shield, more drill sockets, tiny bits of damage in mana regen just so you can keep up working blades. Uh, energy from within because this build really fucking needs defenses when you're running the covenant. But hey, I guess temporal chains and feeble, unlucky enemies on low, when you're on low life kind of all works together well. Because uh, your blood magic. Whenever you do anything with blood magic, it counts as getting hit. When you get hit, you can't recharge energy shield. You need Wicked Ward to get around this. Uh, then Profane Bloom and Malediction, just because curses, damage, synergy works pretty well. So yeah, that's the build. Um, deaths is embarrassing so many times at Suckor. Actually leveled as Charge Dash, Edge of Madness, uh, Weight of Sin, which was a terrible idea. But hey, I'll enjoy a challenge sometimes. Um, yeah, get arcane vision so you're not blind half the time. 
works out pretty well. Um, so words of warning if you're trying this yourself. Um, on the plus side, everything's like one chaos, two chaos if you don't fight out that besides the energy from within. Um, if you run into a um, slow aura, it has a flat negative impact on your movement speed modifier. So if you fall below negative 100% move speed, you cannot move and you cannot deal damage with charge dash. So you kind of just have to throw a decoy totem down and start charging from the edge of the screen and hope they don't shroud walk, blink or whatever to you. Like the tier three that pyramid boss does or whatever. Um, maps I've done hardly anything. I've basically just been re-rolling characters this league. This is my fourth character. I've got all of them up to maps, but haven't really been doing anything. Um, yeah, any other sources of slope, some maims, and um, what else? Those new harboring of totems with slowers, they're a pain in the ass because they stop you dealing any amount of damage. Um, I've thrown like an exalt into miscellaneous gear, I've been trying for this character. Um, Allelopathy, however the fuck you pronounce that. Um, nothing actually hinders you except for Maligaro's Blight Dogs, like the slow aura isn't a hinder, so these are useless for you, but I tried them and was hoping for it. You can run an Essentia Sanguis if you want Life Leech and everything, but I don't know if it's rounding down or something, it feels like I wasn't getting anything from it. Um, my original build was Wasp Nest and Stacking Poison and everything because it hits like a hundred times in a second you activate the five poisons and uh, a Vow of Touch as well. About toxins, uh, more multiplier, but you don't need all that damage. Just run a claw, run charge dash, AOE, added chaos, blood magic, and you still, I don't know, one shot every merciless Cesaro phase on a three and a half link. Blood magic does no damage, so like one and a half damage links. This build is like budget, slow shit, it's still one shot everything. I don't even know what to call it. Glass cannon, but not that glass because. Temporal Chains and Feeble, Laurie's Lantern, it, yeah, it's a weird one, it's a fun one. I'm basically being a budget gooder right now with those weird builds, so yeah, have fun trying this out, pushing it further than I can because I'll probably re-roll something again in two days knowing me, but yeah.